Okay. Okay. You have started recording. We are yes. definitely recording this definitely time. Definitely recording. <laughs> definitely, definitely. So I'll start the introduction. All right, everybody, go for it. Hi, everybody, and welcome to the first episode of Musical Chairs with Cheer Up Charlie. And today we have got an amazing guest. The one, the only, the Sam Retford. Hello, Sam. Hello, everyone. How are you doing, Charlie, today? I'm good. How are you? Fabulous. Absolutely all the better for talking to you, buddy. And are you ready for some interesting questions? I'm so very ready for some interesting questions. Well, let's get started then, Mr. Retford. Let's go. What made you take up acting? Um, I couldn't really do anything else <laughs> and uh, and I was always very loud at school mainly so all of the teachers just used to push me to the front and used to tell me to do all of the assemblies and 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 get me all the parts in the school plays and and then it kind of just spiraled from there fell in love with it and uh, and kept it going and then someone had the strange idea sorry I'm really mucky I've been in the garden all day uh, someone had the strange idea of paying me for it so uh, so then uh, I was like ah, cool we'll do it as a job then can you sing um, I'd never ask people to pay to come and see me sing, but I have sung in jobs before. I've done, done musicals before, yeah. Yeah. How old were you when you got your first role? Um, I'd say first professional role was about 14. Oh, so not too much older than me. No, not at all. What is your dream role? What was your dream role when you were a kid and what is your dream role now? Um, dream role now. Dream role now would be um, the Earl of Rochester, John Wilmot in um, in the Liberty. Fantastic play. I love that play. Mm. He's a wonderful character. Um, and as a kid, I, pff, everything. Yeah, I could have been sheep number three, and I would have been happy. Um, so, <laughs> I'd, uh, anything. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's really cool. <laughs> Were you bullied? Yes. Yeah. How did it affect you as a person? Um, made me not want to be like everyone else. I think it was it was um, uh, seeing those people. It was, it was always the popular kids, you know. It was you know popular. Uh, it was always those those groups of people because I just didn't didn't fit in with those. I didn't you know I didn't play football. Didn't didn't yeah. do all of those things. I was you know singing and dancing and acting and and or doing martial arts, I wasn't off going to football practice or going to the gym or doing any of those playing video games, I just didn't fit into that group. So, yeah, yeah it kind of made me more alienate from that. That's, that's really good. How old were you when the bullying started? Oh, um, it was it was high school, it was it was definitely high school. Um, just close the door. Um, it was, uh, yeah, it was it was it was high school. I don't know how old you are in high school. My memory's terrible. Um, 11. 11. So, yeah, from then, then up to... It carried on until, until I left high school, I think. And my last year of high school was better. Um, so, I met you last year at, an, um, um, at Diana Award, the Diana Awards Anti-Bullying Week celebrations. Um, now, how did you get involved with such an amazing cause like that is the diana award um uh, i think alex messaged me i think it was alex messaged me on instagram and, and asked me to come down and if i'd you know do some workshops and stuff and and i thought yeah i, I love doing workshops i love you know working with uh, working with any kids let alone you know being able to, uh, to have the opportunity to go down to london and and uh, uh, you know meet with these different groups from around the uk and 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 do these fab workshops with a load of different teams and and uh, and, and then it kind of spiraled from there and i've ended up meeting some of the greatest most intelligent most courageous and and uh, kids and well not even kids these are all young adults and 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 you as, as even being being one of them mate uh, just just fantastic and 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 just yeah carried on from there and and i learned stuff every single time i don't go down to to i i started off like oh that'll be great go down and teach some drama and now it's no i'm i go down there to learn from these people man uh, yeah these kids are awesome thanks for thinking of me as a young adult 
<laughs> absolutely, man, absolutely. You've got, you've got the brain on you. What advice would you give to someone who is getting bullied? Um, I tell them to look outside of the, the small circle that is uh, making them feel that hate and that pain and look outside of that very small circle of people and look at the huge circle of people outside of that who you know love you and show you affection every single day and tell you that they love you every day focus on those group of people because the guarantee that number is 10 yes. times bigger and um and yeah and to have it have empathy and and to put your head in in their um in their body and go well why are they putting pain onto me it's obviously coming from somewhere it's never yeah. coming from truth. it's never from truth it's always from their pain yeah that's what that's what i say yeah absolutely as an adult if you met yourself as a child as an adult what would you say to yourself Ooh, um, <laughs> um put your hand up before <laughs> shouting out in class. <laughs> that was, uh, it's always the one. yeah <laughs> that sounds just like my brother <laughs> he needs to put his hand up sometimes Absolutely, I'd never, never do it. And, uh, and yeah, I think I was the bane of a lot of teachers. <laughs> the school for that. Because um, I just had so many ideas and was so excited, but was so loud. And they always used to hold me back and tell me. But yeah, probably that. And to, um, um, and just to, to keep going and, and, and trust. I was always very trusting in, in the universe. And, and the, I, I, would, I never wanted to quit. I never felt like quitting. Um, even a few times last year, uh, when it was, when it was, Pretty, you know pretty tough I, I i would always just look back and think well you know i've gotten longer without work and then you know the universe just throws something at you and it's always there for yeah. a reason yeah. yeah if you were not an actor what would you be um i would be I'd probably be an adventurer some sort of adventure I, I wanted to be like a marine biologist or or something i love diving i love um yeah, i love exploring and, and wild camping and stuff so so probably an explorer <laughs> like bear grills yeah i'd love that man that'd be so so cool yeah i see that um sam sam ratford um adventure adventure show showing yeah. young people how to advent how to adventure, oh, adventure man, out I into the wild yes. i see that i can yes. see that would you come on would you come yeah, on my show <laughs> no 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 showers and that um yeah I, I i'd give it a go but i don't know whether <laughs> i'd last um, no i'm sure you would i'm sure you would. that'd be fantastic <laughs> i'm gonna do that and i'm gonna call you up <laughs> <laughs> What would your autobiography be called and why? Say that again, sorry, mate, you broke up. What would your autobiography be called and why? Uh, my autobiography would be called um, probably, uh, probably a journey through the accents because apparently everyone says I have loads of different accents and, and it would be um, each, each chapter would be a, a different accent and why and where in the world that ever came from so yeah i'm sure there's a lot of stories yeah. which do you prefer be um being in movies and on tv or being on the stage i can't pick i love this question and i can never pick my mind changes all the time i love them for completely different reasons i love tv and film for how small it is and how much and how it grows and you get to kind of live through the journey and, and then I look there because you know it's that everyone says it's that aspect of it being live and, and having that yeah. group of people in front of you and and having the space as well and the freedom to go every night on the same thing and it can be a totally different show every night even though you kind of relive in that same journey mm -hmm. um, so I, yeah I love them but I could never choose and now is for some funny funny questions yeah what was the worst thing you have ever done on set? Oh my goodness, the worst thing I've ever done on set. <laughs> um, <laughs> I was once in the, the building we used to film in was a big, a big old school and, I, and there were big windows and I sat on the window once and, uh, and I had this huge banana. <laughs> 
I, uh, I got this huge banana. I just got a banana from the canteen to go, oh, I'm going to get some food. But I kid you not, this banana was bigger than my head. It was humongous. <laughs> and I'm just sat on this window sill. I was completely on my own. And I was like, I wonder how much of this banana I could fit in my mouth at one time. <laughs> trying to get this banana in. Like, I wonder if I can get this banana. And then I, my phone dings and I take my phone out. And there's loads of photos of me from across the courtyard in this window trying to eat this banana. I'm like, who the hell is this? And I look out the window and there's all the crew and this guy just with his phone like, what the hell are you doing, Sam? Everyone is watching you. Oh yeah, that, luckily got, I've still got the photos. So. Um, so one of my questions was, did you get caught? But I'm assuming you got caught. Yeah. You need, you need to... You need to send my mum those photos. <laughs> <laughs> we went in wallpaper from my iPad, just Sam Redford trying to stuff a massive banana in his mouth. <laughs> if you could be any animal, what would you be and why? Um, I would be a... Um, I'd Love to be a whale, so I could just, just, I love the ocean, so I could just go really, really deep and go really, and go shout shit up at the top, and they're so beautiful and docile, and yeah, probably either a whale or a, uh, or a bird, a bird of prey. I mean, that bird feeling of just being able to, to glide through the air, I'd love to be a bird. To be able to, so basically, to be able to do something that human beings can't really do. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's cool. I'd be a narwhal. A narwhal, yes. They're the they unicorns so of the sea. Cool. They're they so are the cool. unicorns of the sea. They have like massive horn, massive like. They're epic. Yeah, Very they are. Cool. They're so cool. Or a blobfish. A blob. Bit. Blob. <laughs> um, if a penguin walked into a restaurant wearing a sombrero, what would he say? And why would he be there? Oh my God. Um, <laughs> I would say, uh, he'd come in and I'd be like, oh, how's it going, mate? Uh, <laughs> what are you doing here with this? I don't know why I'm Australian, because there's no penguins there. Um, uh, so I'd just be like, how's it going, mate? You want to go for a beer? Or he's got a sombrero, so a tequila. <laughs> <laughs> um, why would he be there? Um, because it's my life and stuff like that happens to me all the time. <laughs> <laughs> now it's for some quick fire questions. Disney princess, Ariel or Jasmine? Uh, Ariel. Childhood TV show? Um, the Hoobs. I used to love the Hoobs. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Last Halloween costume. <laughs> I, <coughs> I went as Iron Man, but I just carried an iron around with me. <laughs> it was really lazy. I couldn't do anything. I couldn't come up with anything. So I just took an iron out with me and everyone was like, why have you got an iron? I'm like, because I'm Iron Man. <laughs> <laughs> why can't we tickle ourselves? I have no idea. Um, <laughs> it's physically impossible. It is, isn't it? Yep. No chance. <laughs> it's so weird. Name four of the seven dwarfs. Dopey, sneezy, sleepy, angry? No. Angry's <laughs> not a dwarf. Grouchy. Um, <laughs> grouchy. Um, yeah, that's. Yeah. 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 Let's let's go with Grouchy. <laughs> let's go with Grouchy. <laughs> Might not be an actual dwarf, but let's go with him anyway. Cool. Um, which dwarf do you resemble? Oh, um, sleep man. I sleep. <laughs> <laughs> the lot. Well, that brings us on to our next question: morning or night person? See, I'm a morning person. Definitely a morning person. Nighttime, I'm. Um, no, you can't touch me at night time. I have no conversation coming here. Um, but in the mornings, I'm up, I'm ready. Love it. Favourite movie quote? Um, 
uh, from a film called Le Grand Bleu, um, where um, the Italian guy goes and he's, he's, uh, he's about to go into the shipwreck. And he goes, Roberto, mio palmo, which means, Roberto, give me my fins. It's really cool. <laughs> okay. okay. Favourite superhero and why? Oh, Favourite superhero? Um, I love Spider-Man. Spider and I, I, I've always been a, I, yeah, I've been a keen Spider-Man fan. Um, but it, it's tarnished a little bit because I, I want to be Spider-Man a lot. <laughs> when Tom Holland got in there, I was like, nope. So, so Spider-Man, because he's cool as anything. Yeah. I love him. Favourite book as a child? <coughs> um, the Magic Faraway Tree. Absolutely. That's a really good one. I love that one. It's a great That's book, awesome. isn't it? Oh, yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah. And it is time for an impression off. And today's oh, come on then. And today's three impressions are Morgan Freeman. Okay. My Morgan Freeman impression is really bad. A monkey. <laughs> Okay. A monkey and goofy. Okay. 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 I will start with my Morgan Freeman impression. Okay. Hello, I am Morgan Freeman. That was pretty good. I, really I don't think that was bad at all. No, I think that was pretty good. <laughs> uh, you'll go. Okay. Well, I am Morgan Freeman. And I am the voice of absolutely every god in Hollywood. <laughs> hey! Now for a monkey. Okay, a monkey. <laughs> I see, that's good. Oh, wow! <laughs> Amazing. Okay, here we go. <laughs> that's really good. Now for Goofy. Now our oh, last no. impression, Goofy. Okay, you go for it. Goofy here. Oh, you've been working on that one because that's a good one. On that's, that one. Yeah, that's a very good one. Whoa, 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 kids. I'm goofy. <laughs> you have also been working on that one. <laughs> I do it. <laughs> you do it and you do it good. Now I'm copying you. I'm copying you, big man. That's why I'm like, okay, you've got Charlie's going first. I've got to copy Charlie here. <laughs> um, thank you, thank you so much. It is a pleasure. No, oh, it's been an absolute pleasure, mate. It's been absolutely fantastic being the first guest as well. Privilege. Yeah, yeah. Well, you're amazing. You are amazing. Sorry, I couldn't have had a shower beforehand. <laughs> That's fine. I don't think anyone can see Sam. That's no, fine. I don't think anyone cares. <laughs> it's my natural habitat. It's just covered in mud. So we will get that out tomorrow. That's fabulous. We'll get it out for the first one. So <laughs> it's just trying to build up the subscribers and stuff now. So yeah. I'll stick it on the Instagram. Make sure people. I mean, yeah, and and get the the. Um, the Diana Award will stick it on theirs as well, and they've got a good following. Yeah, and we're going to get in touch with um, Broadway News and... The stage. What's on stage and that as well. So yeah, they that'll... always put stuff up for Charlie, so they'll yeah. all do it too. So that's perfect. Thank you so much, Sam. Thank you, Thanks. Sam. No, thank you so No, I had loads of fun. I was so glad I got to do it again as well. It's like some of the Yeah, fun. well, he had to change his impressions for you. <laughs> I know. Yeah, they, you were good on those ones. I liked it. But for Morgan, that, my Morgan it, it Freeman impression is terrible. Yeah, needs I mean, I've, I've got a few years and a few uh, few lower decibels on me. Yeah. Uh, on the old point <laughs> of so, well, uh, because last of... time we did it, I, did, I picked all high pitched people. So I thought <laughs> I would give you, I'd, give, I'd actually let you. Thank you. Um, your uh, your goofy was very good though. I was impressed with the goofy. It was very, very good. <laughs> Say goodbye. Bye. Good. See you soon. See you later, guys. Have a lovely afternoon. Bye, Sam. Bye, Bye, Sam. Bye guys. Oh, he left. Sorry. Okay. Should I end the meeting? Yeah. End meeting.